You can take a fast train from Madrid Atocha station to reach Cuenca. It is about 170 kilometers from Madrid. But with the Spanish bullet train, with speeds reaching up to 300 kilometers an hour, it would take only 50 minutes to reach Cuenca. The train sped up and I looked forward to seeing the hanging houses of Cuenca. As the train slowed down, we got our first glimpse of the city. It was sprawled on a mountain base, but you could see the ancient city situated up on the hill by a canyon. The station itself had a modernistic look. It was named after a Spanish artist named Fernando Sopo, who founded a museum of abstract art in Cuenca. We took a bus from the station. It got us to the charming Plaza Mayor in the heart of the ancient city. Like many other Spanish cities, Cuenca's foundation dates back to the Moorish rules, in this case to the 8th century. The narrow streets possibly point to that time. Then as you wander, you are suddenly exposed to the gorge of the Weka River and the bridge that spans it. From the bridge, you could get a glimpse of the famous hanging houses of Cuenca. In Spanish, they are called Casas Colgadas. There is a famous museum of abstract art in Cuenca. The museum is located in one of those hanging houses. We found several works of Sobel for whom the train station of Cuenca is named. And this work titled Brigitte Bordeaux by Antonio Saura. We spent only six hours in this charming city and just like many other places on the earth, we left the place before it could yield all its secrets to us.